Hello, I'm Joe Rimmelspach, turf grass pathologist at Ohio State University. And in this video clip, we're going to talk about how to collect, package, and send a golf course sample for diagnostic work. The first step is to collect a sample that's representative of the area or the problem at qu in question. In this situation, you'd want to take a, a cup cutter, which is an excellent sampling tool, and make sure that when you're cutting or taking the sample, you include both the affected and unaffected part of the turf. So you just take a sample and then make sure you include all the roots that are there, and then we'll talk about packaging and sending the sample. The second part to uh, have a successful and accurate diagnosis is to properly send the sample. Once you have the sample, it is very important that it is wrapped so that the sand and soil does not work itself loose and contaminate or cover the leaf blades. You can use aluminum foil or newspaper and just wrap the sample securely. Possibly tape it if you need to. But the key is to keep the dirt off the leaf blades. Once that's done, you want to have a secure, sturdy box and place the samples in here. You can use a bubble wrap, other packing materials. Place the samples in the box. Oftentimes, we, uh, people include several samples to show different areas or progression of the problem to, at different stages. And then it's important to securely pack these so they, so they do not move around in the box. Then before you seal the box, make sure you fill out the diagnostic form, which is available online at ppdc.osu.edu. Completely fill it out. Also, many people are sending us photos, which are very helpful, either hard copies or you can send an email uh, file to us. We'll be happy to work with those. Places in a plastic bag, if you have it, that will keep the paper material, paperwork from getting uh, moisture. and. Uh, Place it in the box. The other thing we ask is that you ship it overnight. Use any carrier you like, but uh, it's important that we have rapid delivery. Avoid sending on Friday so the package does not set in a hot warehouse or cause deterioration during the weekend. Send it to us and hopefully we will be able to give you an accurate, quick diagnosis.